You're watching Pegarai TV, Rhode Island's public access channel. Welcome to the Single Ladies Cafe. I am Miss SC, your host. With me today, as you can tell, we've got a full table. Miss Kiki is back. We are yes. so happy to have her back. She came through her surgery like a champ. I mean, you yes. know, we're just really happy that you pulled through and that you're back. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm happy to be back. All right. And we've got JV sitting at the table today because we've got a lot of social networking information to share, as well as Fox. She's going to be updating us with the latest uh, celebrity news and gossip. Today we're going to be talking about, okay, you know, this is one of my favorite topics. You know, when I was growing up, you know, I was going to throw my story in. I don't know what that timeout stuff is about. I got a whooping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm, I'm still trying to grasp yeah, that, yeah, that timeout, time out, what mm -hmm. that, if it works or not. But anyway, we're going to talk about timeout. We're going to talk about whoopings <laughs> like I used to get. And we're going to, really the topic is about should we uh, discipline our mates children. That's what we're going to talk about. I know it's like um, a very touchy topic. You know, you're disciplining someone else's um, child or children. I want to say up front, when I say disciplining, disciplining does not always mean spanking or hitting. Um, disciplining can be a form of communication or talk. You can discipline somebody's child, not hit them physically and abuse them emotionally so um, and mentally. So um, we're going to get some feedback from the cafe, the team today, and we're going to get some feedback from um, our audience and just kind of see what people are thinking on disciplining other people's children. Um, first question, do you discipline your children? Oh, yeah. I'm a disciplinarian. Oh. We know. <laughs> 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 you discipline your children? Yes, I do. Okay, do you spank them? If need be. Do you discipline your children? Yes, I do. Do you spank them? If I need to. Do you have children? No, okay. no. Okay, <laughs> all right, we're going to skip that. We'll just hear your <laughs> thoughts as if you had some. Um, okay, so I want to find out for, from these ladies, like, if discipline because a lot of women today not just women men too do not discipline their children and I have a problem with undisciplined children so um, I, I am for discipline I definitely I definitely am I hate unruly children mm -hmm. I don't I think it's embarrassing I think even when your child is unruly or undisciplined in public it makes me embarrassed because um, I think as women, that's one of our responsibilities, is to nurture our children and discipline our children. So not that children are not um, um, unruly or undisciplined just to be bad or whatever the case may be, is that it may be that we're not structuring or giving children the structure that they need today to be um, citizens that people would want to be around or you know so with that being said uh, my first question would be would you discipline your mate's child yes Ms. i Keaton. will <laughs> <laughs> why do yes. i bother asking I, I already know the answer yes, I will. <laughs> drill sergeant you, uh, exactly exactly i am i am like a drill sergeant but i believe that in order for my household to run the way that it should run. If I'm gonna discipline mine, I'm gonna discipline yours. I won't hit your children, but I will discipline them. And anyone else's child that comes past my threshold, once you pass that threshold, you're under my rules now. So you're gonna follow my rules or you will get disciplined. Let me ask you this. Would you discipline them even if the parent is there? Oh yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. Because you're in my house. So you would not say to that parent, discipline, get your kid. 
Mm -mm. Go get them. Mm -mm. Before I go mm -mm. get them. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. If I felt like they got to the point where I wanted to hit them, mm -hmm. then I'm like, you better go get your kid okay. because I'm going to strangle them. Okay. But, okay. I, but I don't care if the parent's <laughs> sitting there or not, okay. I'm going to discipline. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Run for cover. <laughs> um, so, okay. So then definitely yes. you would discipline yes. them when they're not there. Yeah. Let me ask you this question. Would you, if you discipline your children, mm -hmm. you say occasionally if it requires spanking, mm -hmm. you would spank your child. Yes. So if that parent was not there, all right, out, but the child is in your supervision, you're, you're, okay, and that child is doing something that requires a spanking that you would normally spank your child for, you would not spank no, his I child. Not. No, I would what not. What would be the reasoning for not spanking Because that that's child? not my child to put my hands on. I would definitely discipline them and make them, they would get disciplined and they would have to sit down and now I'm to the point where when your father gets here, we're gonna we're gonna speak on this and that's the way it's gonna be i would never put my hand on anyone else's children i have family members that when their children come to my house i didn't wouldn't even put my hands on them but they would get disciplined they would know that i was heated for what they did but i still wouldn't bring it to to me putting my hands on them you know and i would punish you know what i mean i have even had children that they might have did something wrong but when they come back to my house they back on punishment <laughs> <laughs> you know, wow. because you did something here. You can come, but remember what you did. You're, the game. But you know what? Out, that's cool, know. and I commend you for that because I think with me, I'm, I tend to, if I don't discipline right then and there, it's a, like I tend to forgive a little bit so if they came back over I give them a fresh start the next time you know so it's like mm -hmm. that day is over yeah. so whatever discipline you got in that day is done but the next time you come over and I think some people should probably be more like you and I just kind of give up a little, <laughs> I don't, a little because too soon. I, I'm one of the people like I demand respect especially from children. Uh, absolutely. You know what I mean? Absolutely. So you're going to respect me. If you want to be around me, you're going to respect me. And that's just it. And you know that when you do something, there are consequences behind it. Mm -hmm. And that's just it. Mm -hmm. I agree. Fox. Whew, it was tough over there, <laughs> man. Let me turn over this way. Let's <laughs> see what we can get out of it. What are your feelings on? Would you discipline your mate's child? Um, verbally, yes. Physically, yes, <laughs> but they can't touch mine. <laughs> That's so, That's so her. I can, but I can snatch your fast. kid up, but you cannot put your hands on my child. Uh, and why do you feel that way? That's just the way it is. That's no, just what it is. Not no, right. it is. If you're in my household, I'm gonna snatch your kid up. But they can't can snatch yours no. up if yours is wrong. I will fight you over my baby. Don't put your hands on my baby. It's not right. <laughs> Just that is, that's right. just her. I'm not the only that, person. I can tell so you right now, her. I'm not the only person like that. There are a lot of people like that, and I'm pretty sure someone will be shaking their head, agreeing with me. Yup, that's how I do it too. That's just what it is. I can't imagine. I'm, I'm y'all are by the book. I'm <laughs> not by the book. I'm. Don't touch my child. Delusional. I'm not delusional. You can bring like, it to me and let me discipline my child. But but, if you're, but why can't you do the same? Because I'm hot tempered, child. so I can't do that. Ooh. Well, see, I'm hot tempered, but. I don't feel like I need to put my hands on it because I, I'm gonna get I my point across. I will snatch somebody up. In you know what I'm saying? A child knows when a child knows me very well. Any children that come around, I deal with a lot of children in my neighborhood that come visit me and things like that. All the children in my neighborhood knows me. If they're outside in that park fighting and I happen to see it out my window, as soon as my downstairs door opens, all the kids sit down because they already know. Wow. The thing about it is, is like usually like with my son, my son can go to anybody's house and I never hear any problems. Like, it may be like that he wouldn't share a toy or something mm -hmm. like that, but as far as just being unruly and not well behaved, mm -hmm. that's just not how he is. So well, I just- we have one incident. We have one incident with him where <laughs> he was at daycare. It was so, I mean, He's at daycare on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? If you're the daycare provider and when we come pick him up, we expect you to tell us 
when I say how was he today, don't say oh good. Yeah. And then a year later, he done punched the hole in your wall, and we're like, what? <laughs> he gotta go. <laughs> Like, I don't know what, what that happened? was all about. I don't know. I, like I don't what? Know. Like what? How did it get to that point that you let a little? I mean, he was five. How did he punk you and <laughs> put a hole in your wall? Like I don't get it. But I think she was just covering up a lot of behavior, and that he and that he did, and she wasn't tell. So if you don't tell us, we can't correct what the problem right. is. If you keep saying, "Oh, he's, he's a good okay. boy and yeah. everything is good." So I will say to, um, you know, people who are in charge of disciplining children, tell the truth about the kids so we know what to do with our kids or with other kids. But that's not right. I know. That, that I'm not here to be politically correct, though. It's, that's just <laughs> what it is. Like, if you leave them in my care and they do something, I mean, usually I don't snatch them up because usually I can just say something and then they'll stop. Mm -hmm. But if they get out of control and they want to keep doing it, Chances are you're getting hemmed up. Oh, but I'll just snatch him up just to scare him a little bit. I won't really hit him. I'll just <laughs> get him by the collar. <laughs> okay. Or the ponytail, whatever wouldn't quicker. Okay. I think, I think, you, you, like, there were times, like, when, 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 my, when her son, we would be, like, doing certain things, like, we'd be going different places, and we'd have to be, like, he'll do something, and we'll be, like, we'll be at Rhode Island, a Massachusetts. Exactly. <laughs> because the the Massachusetts, are different. You right. Can't, you can't hit the kids in Massachusetts well, you have a law. No, no, let me, no, Rhode Island. because, no. listen, listen, I am very good friends with police officers in Attleboro, oh. and I had a police officer tell me, Okay, he used to watch my kids in the mornings if I had a doctor's appointment or whatever to take them to the bus stop because his kids went to the same school. He told me as long as you do not make a mark on that child, it is not abuse. Well, we're going to talk about that. I have, a, I have a one segment, our last segment, I think it is. We're going to talk about that. Where, where is it just spanking and then it becomes abuse? Mm -hmm. Or, you know, because I don't know. If it was, if if I got the beatings that I got back then, yeah. it wasn't called abuse no. back then. Even but though it was. I wish I could have screamed me, abuse. Yeah, <laughs> we, we were doing that back. Yeah, we used to get tore Woo! up, tore up, tore up, tore up. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, today I'm just trying to figure out that whole like discipline thing, where even like the timeout thing is. What is no. that? No. Mm -hmm. Please, does anybody put their children in time? Have no. you ever been in time out? Are you young yeah. enough to have been in time out? You've been in what time out? What does that mean? Like, what do you do? Can you I don't just, do is it, is it just like, no, I mean, I, I hate to bring race in, but is it just white people that do that? Because I don't know no black people that know. do that. Because I, I was going to say that, because <laughs> I, don't, I don't either. Like, I, like that, like, not to be funny, like Fox said, like, I really think you just came from a white psychologist you know that believe okay put your kid on timeout in a chair and let them do nothing that kid is playing with their fingers they're lollygagging they're doing it they crying they, 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 streaming yeah, that talking. sounds like 10 years ago though but now these days you put the kid in um timeout and then they have their computers in their room TVs exactly. In their exactly. Room. So, 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 where it's is it really going? No exactly. So, where yeah, is it going? Exactly. There's no timeout. My trunk. Well, you know something. My mother, her timeout. My mother's timeout <laughs> was you stand in a corner on one foot in yeah. front of her, and if she happened to see you lean over, you got something thrown at your head. Oh, you wow. know what I'm saying? Like that was my mother's timeout. So, your mother I don't, was just psychotic. Yeah, a little uh, bit. Yeah. But you know, so, uh, <laughs> but maybe you know, a little bit <laughs> abusive. Just a little bit. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Abuse wasn't abuse right. back then. But you know something. But look at the look the at the look, look at the difference the, in, the, in, in right. your growing right. up in, in your time in our growing exactly. up. Exactly. Right. You know what I mean? Changes. We're disciplined. I got caught in the middle. The, yeah. Well, well, you see, you have a mother that's just not gonna play I'm that. I'm not gonna because mm -hmm. I know people your age, and I'm kind of like, whoa, mm -hmm. who who braised you? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I was by myself. Bam! Cause your father didn't. <laughs> <know. laughs> Bam! Cause your dad didn't send me a check. Bam! <laughs> You said what? <laughs> okay, we're gonna end it right there. No, I didn't, y'all. Don't believe me. <laughs> we'll be right there. Yes, she did. Yes, she did. <laughs> we'll be back. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Welcome back to the Single Ladies Cafe. We are talking about disciplining our mates' children. Um, I wish that you guys could get some of the footage of some of the conversation that we have behind the scene. It's like really hot in here right now. <laughs> It's really hot in here, but we're going to keep it moving and we're going to talk about 
Our next um, question that we want to bring to the table is about, you know, the Bible makes it very clear about disciplining our children and it talks about sparing the rod, spoiling the child. Um, how do you guys feel about that and is it still irre irrelevant today? What do you, what's your feeling on sparing the rod, spoiling the child and it coming from a biblical perspective? Because clearly the Bible says, mm -hmm. well, let's talk about this. Do you think that that concept is true? That if you don't discipline your child or if you don't spank them or beat them, whatever mm -hmm. uh, the Bible is talking about this rod, um, do you think that it would spoil the children? Do you think that children are spoiled? Children are spoiled. Yeah. Children are spoiled. So I, think I go kids back. Kids that get disciplined are still spoiled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they, yeah, they yeah. can be spoiled, but, but, there's a, <laughs> but there's a difference in the spoiling. Mm. Okay, like my children are disciplined, but I know that. See, I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, gonna, not gonna give you something that that you should that you don't deserve. Okay, so yes, when it comes time to birthdays, you know, if I just happen to see something when I, while I'm out, they get it because okay. they're disciplined. But I, because but, they deserve but, it. Because they deserve it. Okay. But, but children that are not disciplined and they're doing whatever they want to do, they're, they're, still, they're still getting, getting whatever they want. So there's a difference in that spoiling. Yes, I can say that my children are spoiled to a point because, yes, I do for my children. You know what I'm saying? I get them what they want. I, if I can't at the time, I... I will get it eventually. And they understand and they that. understand that. Mm -hmm. But my children know that you're not going to get what you want if you don't deserve it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So there's a difference with children that don't deserve it and they're still getting it. You know what I mean? So there's a difference in spoiling. When you say spoiled, like I say, I mean, I, I was spoiled in that case. My mother would whoop my behind. I mean, my mother, my mother beat me up. You know what I'm saying? But I got everything I want. Mm -hmm. I, and I think what you need, I think too, is like in 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 our time, was they disciplined us. They, I think even going back to our time, you got to remember there's a mom and a dad in the house. Mm -hmm. A lot more mom, dad, um, households. So the dad was always out providing while the mom was always nurturing. Um, so I think with that being said. Um, we were able to get more, and we got more because we deserved it, not because to shut us up, mm -hmm. which is what I find today. I they, find a lot of kids, they're in the store, them. they're crying, they're getting something to pacify, mm -hmm. as you just said, or in church. Now, when I was in church, what? Cry like that again in that service. Cry like that mm -hmm. again. This is my mother literally, dress hat, the Bible, cry like that again, looking right at me, and I knew I better shut up. Let me cry like that exactly. again. Now, we're feeding them crackers, mm -hmm. we're taking them out of the church, mm -hmm. walking through the, the, the mess. Putting, putting candy in your bag putting, just to shut them up. All you can hear is the candy rattling, <laughs> the candy paper rattling. I mean, it's, it's, I know it's a different time today, but I just think that we're out of control with with everything we do versus I understand, okay, maybe not as harsh, move somewhere in the middle. Don't go to the extreme where you're telling me I can't discipline my kid at all. Mm -hmm. So your feelings? Do you think um, discipline is needed today for children? Do you think that Absolutely. we should continue to raise our children the way that we feel is appropriate for our children. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I think I'm just <clears throat> baffled at someone else telling me how to raise my kid when you don't know my kid. You're not in my household. You're not, what, how you grew up, or for that matter, someone who was spanked themselves mm -hmm is now telling you not to is know. now telling me well yeah you're a good person because you were spanked mm -hmm. but someone else that may not that may need this spanking this one i don't think i ever had to spank her i think maybe 
I can't even remember, so it probably would be more less time. Cause um, I only remember getting choked up, and I was probably about sixteen then. Yeah, <laughs> she needed it. <laughs> that is, she but other than it. that, but mm -mm. I mean, but she was one that you could talk to because I knew that she, she did not stuck. like me to be mad. Mm -hmm. Now I got a joker like hers. Laugh right in my face. Could care less. I mean, we're like, I'm like, is it serious she right now? <laughs> you know, she's gonna do what you want. Right. Do. <laughs> so I think um, if you spoil the, if you spare the rod, your child is spoiled, regardless if you think so or not. Mm -hmm. If you do not structure or discipline your children, it is not look. It is not cute. I do not like your kids that much that I'm going to mm -hmm. let them walk all over me in my house, in public, anywhere. It ain't going to happen. I just think that all these rules came from, it came down to the government saying that we can't handle our Why? children. But this is what I think is because the government feels like these spoiled children are going to one day end up in the prisons and that's where their money comes from. Do you know how much money Oof. the prisons get for having an inmate? Um. So when you don't handle your children as they're growing up, those are the ones that are going around doing all these crimes because they didn't get the discipline and the government is packing it in their pockets. They're, they're, the, when they go crazy in the head and they're doing stupid things, they end up on the, psychi the psychi psychiatrist's couch right, and that's more money, money mm -hmm. in the pockets. The medicines that they're giving these people for all these, you know, the psychology things, it's money in the pocket. Everything nowadays is a business. Right. And that's all right. it comes down to. Right. The government wants to make money. They don't care about your children. All they want, all they care about is the money that they make. And mm -hmm. that all, that's all it comes down to. Well, I agree. Well said. I Thank agree. Clap, I clap, agree. Bravo. All right. I agree. <laughs> they just trying to make some money mm -hmm. off of y'all kids, so discipline your kids at home. Exactly. And train your kids that what goes on in your home stays exactly. in your home unless you're being abused. Yes. If you're being abused, that's different. And when I mean abused, I have to be with the cop, like the cop. You ain't got nothing to prove that you've been abused. Then you ain't abused. Mm -hmm. Like we used to have the, you know, mm -hmm. the extension cord, mm -hmm. the welts on you, you yep. go to school. Go to school. Not just one, mm -hmm. a few. You got a whole, you know. Jeez, mm -hmm. I mean, I never had a beating like that before, but I know people that did and other family members that did, but my mama used to make me go pick out my own switch no, off the tree. My mother and don't come back with no little one either. <laughs> my, mother <used> to, <laughs> my mother used to ask us, me and my brothers, they, she would literally say to us, do you want a beating or, or do you want a punishment? My brothers would pick the beating because they feel like they can go outside after the beating. Right, it's they just it's over and done with. <laughs> Me, I was too scared of the beating, so my, I'll take the punishment, ma'am. You know, I ain't care if I was on punishment for 30 days, but I'm taking that punishment. Well said. Well said. Well, that's what I got. I got mostly punishment. Exactly. So I got the phone taken away, yep. my radio, my mm -hmm. stereo taken away. All them, um, all Can't go out and to parties. And everything. Stuff like that. That's what trunk, I got. Girl. I'm Six, around 16, with an 16, I was punished for a whole summer. Summer. Like literally Ooh, could not go tough. outside. If she sent me to the store for her Pepsi, girl, I was timed. Yep. And don't let me come and don't let her think that I stopped and talked to a friend. Girl, I will be hustling down that street. Yeah. My oh, friend, my high girl, like, girl, girl, I see no. you later. <laughs> <laughs> see you in 29 days. <laughs> Absolutely not. So I think that um, um, discipline is necessary. It is still relevant today that you do need to use that rod every now and then, whatever the rod mm -hmm. to you mean, you know, um, but not abuse. Yes. That I totally there's disagree a, yes, with because I think sometimes, sometimes physical abuse turns into other abuse mm -hmm. if you're not careful, especially with girls, because I think sometimes, no disrespect to the men at all, but sometimes if they feel that they can't get their point across physically with you, then they try it other areas or other ways and that's not cool and I'm not supporting that at all because now you now you've yeah. crossed into other boundaries um, so I think I have one more question for us you know we're talking about spanking we're talking about abuse like what is abuse where does where is the fine line with spanking and abuse okay like when you like we're, like 
choking somebody till they pass out. Yeah. <laughs> you know, pushing their head up against walls. Making, like, yeah, making holes in the wall and stuff like that from hitting them or pushing you, them. But if I spank you on the behind, and there might be a little red because you're light. But right. you're, but that's your behind. And that's where a child is, that's where it's supposed to be, is actually on their behind. Right. You know what I mean? Or their hand. Well, with small children, you know, the hand. It should never be in the face, the right. head, right. you know, the stomach, things like that. But on your behind or your and legs. it should not be you bruised. Get, exactly. Right. You're going to get tore up on your butt or on your legs. And that's well, where you it should be. you know how some children is so, they go to the extreme where, if you hit them with a piece of paper, <laughs> you're like, ow! You know, no, black you and blue. You, know, <laughs> you hurt me. You know, right. You know, it, it, and they're black and blue just because you hit them with a piece of paper. It, that's not a, come on now. You know, so let's talk about that. It takes a village to raise a child for a minute. Um, because I know we were talking during the break that, you know, like, my next door neighbor, well, when I was going to school, my teacher could paddle me, you know, so I, I didn't get a lot of paddles because I knew how to behave in school mm -hmm. because I didn't want the paddle. And then back then, you didn't go into a room and get paddle, you got paddle in front of the classroom. So everybody was watching you get mm -hmm. paddled. Um, <clears throat> now, then you go home, say you get into a fight or whatever the case may be, my neighbor, would beat me. And then because my neighbor told my mom or my dad, then I got a beat and sometimes I got a beating from my mom and then my mom would tell my dad when he got home and then I got another beating. That's abuse. It yeah. is. Come on. Exactly. You know, is. Back in those days it wasn't abuse. But it is. That's <laughs> <laughs> but I knew better. It's like, I dang, knew, how many I times knew, do I got to get beat for one situation? I know, Just don't do day, it, yeah. but I knew not to do it again. If you do it again, then I could see it trickling down and oh, everybody doing it. Usually that's me. But, you I know, know. I'm always doing right. something again. That's I was. <laughs> right. Not me. I was too scared. Yeah, that, I was. I was like, ah. That was a good one. Just a beating. <laughs> Just a beating. Um, but, yeah, we did use, that's how we grew up. So everybody was responsible for, for disciplining child. you, but not just disciplining you. If we needed something, that neighbor was responsible exactly. for making sure that oh, mom's not home and I need to eat at lunch or whatever mm -hmm. it can be. They would give you, and you didn't have to worry about somebody putting some acid mm -hmm. or some kind of cyanide so and exactly. sandwich or exactly. all that kind of stuff. So, mm -hmm. I so mean... True. You know, we do need to help one another with that, children, because you have a person like Kiki who has um, four at home right now that are, you know, they're teenagers. They range from little guys to teenagers. So we do need to lean on one another every now and then. We do need a support system. Mm -hmm. We need you to keep an eye out for our children coming home from school and not that pervert cross the street. Exactly. You know, my kids got to cross the street and we don't know. It's just too much going on and we just really need to get back to helping one another out. I do agree. I do. If your child is in my home or in my household, they're going by the same rules that my kid Exactly. Um, goes by. I may reserve from hitting your child, but I will let you know. And if you don't discipline your child, I probably will be telling you to take your child and yourself out of here. I, I know that's Period. right. Make sure your kids follow the same mm -hmm. rules that my kid go by. So that's pretty much how I am when it comes to discipline. And I'm strong. Please discipline your kids. Exactly. It's not right to leave them just hanging, trying to fiend for themselves and figure out life all by exactly. themselves. They're gonna appreciate it. Many a times, I got a lot of whoopings, you know, but I appreciate, I, when I grew mm -hmm. up, I, I could go back to my mom and tell my mom and my dad, I appreciate it. Thank you for raising me the way you thank did. Thank you. And yes, I actually can say that I, I, for everything I went through, I am so Grateful. glad that yeah. my mother raised me the, the way, way that she, she raised did. me. It yes. made me the woman that I am today. Yes. You know what I mean? It so ain't gonna I, kill you. It's, it's only gonna not. help you. Exactly. So we appreciate it. So um, next coming up, we're going to be going into um, our social media with James. He's going to give us some feedback on what our audience think about the questions. And um, we'll be right back. Thank you for tuning in today. We really appreciate it. Welcome back to the Single Ladies Cafe. Um, we are going to get into our social media um, segment with JV. He's going to update us with um, what is 
some of the feedback that we get from the audience. Um, first question was, um, should you discipline your mate's child or children? Can you give us some feedback, of please? Course. So Stephanie um, was like, yes, to a point you should, and vice versa. I am not saying beat them, but groundment or corner time or taking privileges away, especially these days with all the high-tech stuff that we've been getting. Does that work? No. I'm just curious, like, realistically, does they, that work? They don't care. No, because they have TVs in their room. They have the, all the game consoles, Xbox, PS3, everything in their room. That's my son. They right. don't care. The, the, the punishment, go to, go to your room. Go to your room go, means, all oh, right, no, go you, play on You're this. supposed to snatch everything. You're supposed to take everything out of the room. You're supposed to take everything out of the room, out of the exactly. room when you say go to your room. So there's no TV, there's no PlayStation, there's no right. Xbox, there's no Wii. Like I do. All that I take everything out of the room, I take a picture of it and post it on Facebook. I always she get the really last laugh. She's a jerk. Yeah, she really, really does. Yeah. Yeah. And then tag them in it. Oh, yeah. You better not come to my room and take all <laughs> from my room. So I think with her, with, with, with her, um, um, suggestion or her form of discipline sounds good, but does it work? Right. So she was like, depending on how long you have been with him, like um, I'd say after a year or so and how serious the relationship is, but definitely if you are living together. But before anyone disciplines anyone, a serious conversation between you and the man should happen and see if you have similar discipline techniques per se and the boundaries especially if the child's father is not in the picture or vice versa. I agree with that. Yes. I agree that um, there should be some type of conversation between the two of you in terms of what the um, what their discipline type is mm -hmm. and what mine would be and what we're going to do together. Yeah, you know, I how, agree with how, that because if you if you're with a guy and he's and he's totally different from you and he just kind of lets his children does do what they want to do, there's no way I can be with that man <clears throat> because yeah, that's that's yeah. I, I, I think I asked this question before <laughs> one time, like when we had this maybe during the the, the um, discussion um, previously. But would you leave or break up with someone over disciplining children like? If them children had to be in my house and he did not discipline at all or just did things that did, his children were just doing things and I'm just like, oh, heck no. And my kids are sitting here getting disciplined for the same thing and it's not going to work. Okay. There's going to be tension. Okay. That's not going to work. Okay. You, you and your children got to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out the door. <laughs> okay, I agree. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, discipline you your kids. Right. So Daisy was like, I only check them, straighten them out, no spanking. Once they get out of hand, I'll let the father know what happened. I can't call it um, chastising. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. That I do um, because I place my hand on no one's child, but I let them know you shall respect me because sometimes the baby mama can be talking about you bad. Mm -hmm just because you're in a relationship with the baby daddy. Mm -hmm. Kids feel it's okay to be rude, but, uh, but you got to let them know you're not feeling, not going to disrespect me just because your mom is disrespectful and that is all. Yeah. Yeah, that goes, I just don't think that anyone should be disrespecting anyone. I just the same way I don't, I don't, I don't feel like the step parent or whatever the other person should disrespect or bad mouth the, the guy or the woman's ex around the children or anything like that because that also brings a child to feeling like well you're disrespecting my mother or my father but what so what happens when the shoe is on the other foot and that baby mama is talking about you and yeah, therefore and, and, and that, that, that child does, is not gonna okay but that does take happen care of your because that has happened in a, a case that i was in that the mother was bad mouthing me but the thing is is that once that child came in my house it's on you you have to look at it like you're not really doing. You have you, you need to respect, and and they have to realize that you're an authority authority figure, and they need to respect you as an adult for uh, one. Uh, okay, uh, not with their and, kids, mm -hmm. not no, with their no, kids. Because Keep it, your child at home with you. No, because that's that's not how <laughs> I handled it. I actually became. I was their friend. You're never gonna be. You're never gonna be their parent. Right. You know what I mean. Right. So you become their friend. You befriend them. 
You know what I mean? You, you become their confidant because sometimes they can't go to their, their parents. You know what I'm saying? They feel more comfortable talking to someone else. You know what I mean? You, you, you try to give advice, especially if they're a little older. Things, maybe give them, maybe give them a scenario that you've been through similar that gets them through things. Mm -hmm. they, they come along. You know what I mean? They start to see that you're not that wicked stepmother. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So everything that's it'll start to go in one ear and out the other. You know what I'm saying, when it comes to the parents. And that's just the way you have to handle it. You can't start coming down to the other parents' level to start bad-mouthing them also. Because right. it's, it's, you, cause now, you you know, it's like that right. tip for tat. You just can't right. do that. You need to show that this child that you, you're going to be respected, you're an authority figure, and that's just it. But you need to be their friend also. Mm -hmm. Because kids know who's there for them and mm -hmm. who's not. They start to see things on their mm -hmm. own. You don't have to do all that. I'm probably going to get in trouble for saying this, but... My son does not listen to his father, but listens to my boyfriend. And my boyfriend's never had to say anything to him, like discipline him, mm -hmm. put his hand on him at all. He's never had to speak to him with any tone or anything like that. But he will give his father a run for his money. And his father will constantly, constantly call me when he has him and say, talk to your son. And I have to discipline my son over the phone. Well, see, he just doesn't look at her, ask him as a 30 figure, but it goes back to... Well, how is the parent acting? If the parent is acting like a child and immature, Probably, then why should the, chi the child feels like they don't have to listen to him? But if you're in your right mind as an adult and you're mature, then that child is more likely to listen to you. You know what I mean? So it goes back to the way the, the adult afraid, acts too. I, like, to be honest, I think he's afraid of his own strength and he needs to learn how to kind of catch himself because he's a big dude. So that one slap, you but can't it but but you know it should hit some other yeah, guy on the street. but it shouldn't even it shouldn't even go back to that. It shouldn't even have to be to a point where the dad has to put his hands on him. If he was in his life and and he's doing what he's supposed to do as a dad, my kids' fathers don't have to don't have to hit hit them. Doesn't have to. All they got to do is talk. Well, and that's the thing with that. your really. kids, the difference with your children is that they have a good structured home life with you. So they're not afraid of where they go to dad's. So they're afraid to come back home mm -hmm. to you because they know that if you find out that I did this, this, this over at dad's or Susie's house and it gets back to mama, I'm in trouble. Yeah, that, that's what, so but, they're, they're afraid of the consequences home, with you. But let me tell you, they're so, afraid of the consequences with dad too. Well, because, that, because they, that's the way, that, exactly, right. that's the way it stands right. from the beginning. Right. You know what I mean? But when it's not there but from the beginning, kid, then that's right. different. Because a lot of kids don't have both yeah, parents to exactly. run to. Exactly. So that's why sometimes there has to be something with mm -hmm. you, the parent that is available. You can't brush them off and exactly. not discipline. Exactly. You have to discipline. Somebody got to discipline these kids. Yeah. And if you don't, the street the will. Streets will. Yeah. The street will. It, trust me with that one. And I get told I got a bad attitude. And this is oh, from please. my son. You got a bad attitude. <laughs> yeah, because you, you don't let up. Because I'm the only one that he knows. That's his attitude. Exactly. He's like, why he'll, you got a bad attitude? And, but he'll, today. he'll look at you like you're the bad guy now. <laughs> exactly. But when he grows up, he's going to appreciate that. Exactly. exactly. So you don't let up, girl. I'm not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't have to convince me of that. I'm not. So, Daisy, absolutely right. We agree that yes. there should be some discussion, but. Hopefully that we're Not all on the same page. The other parent. And the baby mama better keep her mouth shut too before I go over there and smack but her. See, <laughs> see that? See? Yeah. See? But yes. like <laughs> and, and hopefully that if you all get along, that there is a way that the other parent at the other house can say, listen, when you're over there, you need to listen to her as well, and, and the same way you that's would listen the other to thing me. Too. He that, listens to his girlfriend, do not listen that's to him. Listen, but mo a, him. Lot of, a lot of households isn't like that, you know I what know. I mean? Mm -hmm. You it's know, but weird. it should be like that. I should be able to say, hey, you know, and it should be vice versa, you know what I mean? And that's just it. Okay, so. Perfect world. Mm. Perfect. <laughs> All right, so Anton, I think that's it. How do you say his name? Anton? Yeah. Okay, so discipline is training a child to act in accordance to rules and regulations set by the parent. It's, teach, it's teaching by verbal communication is, and visual demonstration. If this is your idea of discipline and the parent doesn't mind, give it your best. Okay. Yeah. And then, Thank you, Antoine. That was a politically correct answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Dawn was like, in my house, in my car, and at my event, there are guidelines I expect all children to follow or they don't come back. Mm -hmm. In yeah. someone else's house or car or event, let them parents deal with their own children. 
If I'm living with a man and his children are coming to our home, same rules apply. My house, my car, my event. Mm -hmm. If the man and I haven't laid down these rules ahead of time and we, and we get what we deserve, chaos and misunderstandings, and I am not a weekend daddy's babysitter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. he'd best be watching his own children. Well, That's the problem. I, I agree. However, I do have one concern is that when we say um, you've got these undisciplined children and, you know, we're telling them, well, take you and your child somewhere else. Well, you got a recycled child going somewhere else. To be <laughs> That's somebody else's problem. That's not mine. <laughs> so I'm just afraid that when is there going to be someone that's going to stand up to these kids or to these parents and say, uh-uh, discipline yeah, your it, kids. Yeah, they need to discipline the kids, but I don't care whose child it is, and I don't care if you are sitting there. If your child does something around me that I think is disrespectful, I am going to speak up she to does. that child, and I do. That she I does. I, I, I will. I, I will too. be like, oh, what, what did she just tell and you? Sit too. your butt down now. <laughs> Didn't you hear her talking to you? Don't you ever. And I will, right in front of the parent. Sometimes mm -hmm. I don't even say nothing. I just go, let Kiki go handle that. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Well, Kiki go handle right. that. <laughs> <laughs> so Mary Ann was like, a man should not impose or ask his women to take care of his children. But if he does, then she should be allowed to discipline. This is where the idea began, um, began about wicked stepmothers. <laughs> if you don't want your child disciplined, then take them with you. I agree. Exactly. That's the best exactly. answer right yes, there. Yes, it is. Yes, if it is. If you don't want somebody to then discipline your, your child, child why you. are they here? Take them with you. Yeah. Or why can't you take them to the mama? Mm -hmm. Where's the mama at? I, I don't understand these men and women that impose all this you keep the responsibility my kids, yeah, on, on, other, other on the other people. person. Like, take your kids with you. When you go to the store, take them with you. Right. Right. But know that if you don't... That's why I date men with no children. Well, see, I take other, I even that, take other yeah. people's yeah. children with me. I'll go somewhere and I'll be like, hey, I'm taking your kid with you. With me, you know what I mean? And I do that, but that's just because I like I, I like having children around me. I I I, I like teaching them different things yeah. and I you know just doing like just that. doing things with other people's kids. I don't mind that. I have enough kids of my own. We have a good time. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm also going to discipline you. If I'm gonna treat your child anyone's child that's in my presence, I treat as my own. I don't care what it is. If we're out in the sh if we're out, I feed them. If they're at my house, I feed them. I give them things. I do things. I do their hair. I do everything I would do with my child. So if you're allowing me to do those things, then you have to allow me to discipline too. I'm not going to hit your child, but you have to trust right. me enough. If you trust yes. me to do everything else, to you have to trust well, me enough trust to me discipline. Enough to leave them with exactly. me, you then have you to trust to, me enough right. to discipline. Exactly. And that's just it. And, and bottom line, Bottom line. And the period. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've only got like a few, um, not even a few, we only got like two minutes. So um, if you have anything else. No. There's so many question. of them. We're starting to get bombarded yes. with so many um, people responding to our question. We Which really is do. Good. Yeah, we really do appreciate it. Um, but they're not all going to make it on the end, though. They're not going to because I don't have that much gossip today, so but, um, you can bring it back. Yeah, right. we, we can have bring some it time back. we can bring that back. Um, but we're going to end this segment, and we're going to go um, take a quick break, and we're going to come right back. And when we come back, we're going to be talking to Fox, and she's going to be giving us our um, celebrity news and gossip. Yes. We'll be right back. We are back. And we're in our celebrity news and gossip with Fox segment. Um, we love this. We yes. just love this. We just love knowing what those celebrities doing. They tripping. They are. <laughs> As usual. Everybody. Yeah. So what do you got for us? Like, do you, what's going on? Let me on? see. What's it's actually been you? very quiet. Um, just I have today. I have Evelyn and Lazada. Evelyn Lozada and Chad Johnson, we know the history with them. The last time I spoke about them, they were in their little domestic violence situation where he had headbutted her and she ended up with a laceration across her forehead. She went and filed for divorce and they ran into all this um, owing money because, you know, their show was canceled. canceled that they had on VH1 and they were paid in advance to have their wedding at a certain location so that 
they would get the publicity, the area would get the publicity on their show, but now they owe these people money. They also ran into a situation where they owed money on a house, I believe, that they owned together. Mm -hmm. So with all that, and then on top of that, Chad Johnson was released from the Miami Dolphins and just a whole bunch of drama. And then mm -hmm. I believe he's also running into some child support issues too that he owed for a baby. So oh, a baby or the children? No, a baby. The baby, the youngest one, I believe. Okay. So now, yesterday, they were in court because they were going to have the um, restraining order dropped. Why? Uh, she said that she's ready to sit down and have a discussion with Chad and just to see, you know, what he was thinking, why he would have cheated on her. She just said she has some questions and she just wanted to be able to, she's ready to have that face to face with him now. Is it that she needs closure? She says she needs closure. Yep. So she's not trying to get back with she him or closure. trying to bring the man. Not now, but you know when they start doing that, that mm -hmm. that leads into they're going to end up back mm -hmm. together because she made herself, like, she she's good. Like, she's in a good place. Like, she um, appeared on Yama Van Zant's um, Fix My Life. That was the first again, premiere. They right? came. I haven't watched that yet. I can't. It's revamped now. Oh, okay. It's the remix. So now they have that, which we've already seen two hours of her sitting down with Iyanla because you had the original taping that they did before the incident, mm -hmm. and then they came back and did a follow-up after the incident. So now they're doing those two episodes revamped with information that was not a part of the show previously, and it also shows her um, like Twitter responses when she was watching her show and st watching the episode at that time. So it's a little, some things thrown in there. You know, I'm mm -hmm. not that interested. But um, we all know that once they start feeling bad and wanting to drop restraining orders and sit down and have closure that somewhere down the line they're probably going to end up back together. So, and, and she's doing good, you know. She had to stop her tour. She had a book coming out. I believe that she's resumed the tour. She just did a... Um, PETA campaign. I'd rather wear nothing than wear fur. With her and Wendy Williams, Wendy was. <laughs> I wish Wendy Williams would have kept her clothes on though. <laughs> Wendy, 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 she Wendy, Wendy Williams. Williams. Wendy Williams did it. So and then Evelyn, but Evelyn, Evelyn got the right to do that. Evelyn's she, body is banging. Right. Like she looked good. Right. So, but that's the new thing that's going around. So we never saw Evelyn in a. Fur. I'm pretty sure I saw her walking I around. I'm gonna get what the faux fur. It, it could have been, been a faux fake. fur. It could have been fake. It, it could have been skunk. But Peter don't know that when they walk up on you at dinner. <laughs> they don't know your stuff. They throwing that red paint on you. On you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you a celebrity. Exactly. And that's that your real stuff fur. Is real. Exactly. And I know I saw her in some rabbit skunk or possum skunk. Well, something. you know, um, those are not considered they real fur. <laughs> they're not extinct. <laughs> Exactly. So, you know, you're always going to have a squirrel or skunk or something, <laughs> a raccoon running around no, somewhere. Something. So, but she also talks about in her interview, because this is an interview that she actually did okay. with a, a blogging site, and she also talks about how she needs to be an example for her 19 year old daughter and for the 13 year old daughter who she still is in contact with of Chad I don't Johnson. I understand that though, because. The show that she was in. Okay, well, they're filming, so let's see what she does with the new season, because season three, they just released well, the pilot for that. you got to hold her to everything that she are, did in the past. I know you are, I know you just hold stuff. All I see her doing is, is running, running across, across the that table with <laughs> no shoes on. <laughs> So, that was good, though. So, I, I don't know. That could be the only thing that maybe, maybe will keep her from going back with her because she does want to be an example and let her daughter and Chad's daughter and other young ladies know that it's not acceptable to mm -hmm. be in a domestic yes. violence situation. So, so if she goes that back, then that looks like she's bad it's okay. Well, so, Rihanna did it with Chris Brown. Yeah, but Rihanna, Rihanna is never young. Yeah, she's exactly. 37, like, oh, grow exactly. up. Rihanna, yeah. Rihanna's, Come what, on. 24? Oh, yeah. You know, and she's, you know, just when kids have a lot of money and they don't mm. know she what don't to do with themselves. she don't have any children to be right. exactly. So, and she doesn't exactly. feel like she needs to be a role model to okay. people's kids. That's, okay. As a parent, that's yes, your responsibility exactly. to be a child's right. role model. So, we'll see how that happens, but the restraining order was dropped. They appeared in court together yesterday. Um, so, we'll just have to see how things pan out. Wait for this. Okay. Next, and lastly, because it's really, really quiet in the celebrity um, world. Mm -hmm. We had some other things, some other events that took place and kind of took over which I will not mention because I don't want to give nobody no shine for the tragedy, but 
Okay. We'll leave it at that. But a woman says that Trey Songz assaulted her with a wad of cash. Huh? What? Wait a minute. What did he do? Now, when like, I initially like, heard it, with it, when I initially heard it, I automatically assumed it was a stripper, and I'm like, you know, that's what you do. You mm -hmm. be trying to get pick up the dollars and mm -hmm. keep it moving. Well, shoot, throw the money at me. If he can throw it at me, I'm taking it. I'm not gonna take. I'm not gonna be assaulted. By so it. what? What? What it is? This was not a stripper. This was a young lady that was in um, VIP with her husband at a release party for Al uh, Trey Song's new album, Chapter Five or Four, one of them chapters. Mm -hmm. I think it's five. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. It was four. Yes, yeah, Chapter Four. It's a chapter. It's a good one. It's a good chapter, album, though. It's a good okay. album. <laughs> so either way, her and her husband were in VIP at a strip club with Trey Song's that they paid seven hundred dollars to get into. Oh. A strip club? A strip club. What they looking at? What kind of strippers are them? Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to It was in New York. So I guess it's gold. It must be so. platinum. For but, real. Um, so, anyway, what happened was is she took a picture of Trey Songs and on her camera phone, and he got upset. Now, she didn't think anything was wrong with it because, of course, the strippers were taking pictures of Trey Songs also. Mm -hmm. But he got upset, charged up to her, and snatched her phone and tried to delete the pictures. And when he couldn't delete That's the pictures, he got nuts. mad and upset, and he threw he threw money in her face, what? which she didn't know at the time, but it ended up bruising her face. So when she got out of the club, then she no, this is abuse. Huh? So um, she ended up filing charges on him. This flew under the radar because nobody knew about this, and this happened in September. So how this, no one got notice of that, I don't know, but whatever. So, so the wad of cash that he threw in her face, see that would have compensated me. I'd be like, okay, no problem. You it I, if, it was, if it was a knot and it bruised your face, that was yeah. enough for me. I'm good. I'm going to scoop it up and I'm like, well, we got it. But like, everything ain't settled. Okay, I understand that, but I have to say, if anyone throws anything in my face, I don't care if it is money, we got a problem. We got a problem. You just don't throw things at someone. For one, I'm not a dog. I probably would have started swinging and then picked up the money. I'm not them, them girls up on there stripping. So don't throw no money at me. Yeah. No, we got a well, problem. I don't care if it is money. The difference between her taking the picture and the lady taking the picture is they was a half yeah. naked. Or naked. Yeah, but he didn't have to do all that either. Snatch her phone. Yeah, try that to, right. that, that's that's right. a bit much. Then throw money at her. No, I yeah, I agree with that girl. Well, I agree with that girl too, but I'm just saying if it was me, I would have took that money. Now, 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 now I'm not saying I would have picked up the money, <laughs> oh. but then you're going to deal with the consequences. I got your money, and now watch this too. Mm. You know, come on. Well, now. she has an order of protection out on Trey Songs, and they are due back in court over the situation in February. So, wow. We'll see if we hear about uh, that. But that definitely flew under the radar because that was in September. I didn't hear. That was in September. Well, can we talk about Cat Williams for oh, a minute? Goodness. Okay. Like, like, what is wrong I with I didn't want to talk about him because it's just off the chain. But so from the last show, obviously, I reported that Cat Williams had been arrested for slapping his female assistant mm -hmm. in the face. Since then, and I want to say about a week after that, he was then in a high-speed chase. On, on a tricycle, a, right? On, it was a, like a mo motorized okay. motorcycle, motorcycle, something Mobile like that. Like three, something. yeah. He, so he was on a chase. He went and stopped. They didn't arrest him. Later on in that day, he goes to Target, and he slaps the employee in the face. What is wrong with him? I don't know. Then after that, he's at a bar in Sacramento, and he gets arrested at the bar in Sacramento because when I don't know what happened there, but the police officers came, and they asked for his license. He said, I do not have a license. That after this argument, back and forth, him insulting the cop and this, that, whatever, Finally, the cop decides to go arrest him. When he arrests him, he finds a passport. The cop says, well, why didn't you just do this when I told you, when I asked for your license? He said, because you didn't ask me for a license. Yeah. I don't have a license. <laughs> okay, but is it true that he's resigning? He, then he did, a couple days after that report, then he did come back and say that he was resigning from comedy. So what's he going to do for He's retiring. Him? I don't know what he's doing for a living. Personally, so this is what I feel. This is my I take just on it. I just Chat Williams. So this got not, a big wait, bank wait. account. This so, is, so this, this is not, not going to be any more tink tink. No, no more tink tink. <laughs> no, no more tink tink. But this is my thing. I believe that it could be a publicity stunt. All this happened within a matter of two weeks. So yeah. We all know that he has issues with drugs and mm -hmm. he's been arrested and all that stuff like that. But right now, the top people probably right now are Kevin Hart 
in Mike Epps. Yeah. So there's really no other comedians right now that's really doing anything besides those two. And I feel like this is kind of something that mm. where he can kind of get himself back on the radar a little mm. bit because he did release a DVD a few months ago and okay. it tanked. Tank, tank. <laughs> and so... Um, <laughs> But I think that maybe it could be like a little, uh, I mean, he kind of needs something to talk about. Yeah. He don't got nothing to talk about now. Yeah, so that's true. we'll see what happens. I don't know, but he is, he is tripping. He has tripped. That's, that's really too bad because I like I Cat. I like I, I like, like Cat Williams. Williams. I do too. You know, especially when he like, you know, is hosting a show. I'm not big on his, I do like his stand up stuff if you take some of the swearing out, but I mean, I like some, I, I like, like his stuff. Yeah. I, I, I like mean, him. I wish that things were different. Um, for him. Um, we'll see what happens. We don't know. Hmm. So that's all that we have for Exposure with the Fox today. And uh, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we have a little more drama. That was enough. The next tape. That was <laughs> <quite a bit laughs> drama. To me, when it. I was looking it up, I'm like, mm, there's not enough stuff going on. But I guess that was enough. Yeah. Thank so, you, Fox, news. for yeah. updating wow. us with our um, latest celebrity news and gossip. We just gonna dive right back in, Trey Song. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna dive. Right I almost back. hit that note too. <laughs> I almost jumped in there. Yeah, <laughs> we gonna dive in. We got time. Um, we only have like about three minutes or so. So if you just want to um, read off someone else's comment, we'll pick it right back up from that. So Karika was like, if I were a single parent and my date were to discipline my child, yes, when necessary. And I would expect to do the same for his child. However, we should be adults um, enough. enough to know and judge how reasonable the punishment should be. And kind words, good advice, and motherly counsel is always the best. A woman who beats or is overly strict to another one's child would always be considered wicked in our culture. Whether she has her own child or not, wisdom and patience are the best virtue when it comes to child discipline. I agree. I agree. That was awesome. I totally agree. And can we just say that um, she's from Africa? Yes. From Nigeria? She she's from Nigeria. I love that yes. lady. I love her. She is actually, um, in case our audience hasn't heard it yet, she's our spokesperson in Nigeria. So everything um, that comes from Africa, she's going to try to handle it for us. And she's got one of our t-shirts and she's like representing the cafe in Africa. And I'm so proud and blessed yes. to have her on our team to kind of like bring some of the cultures together so that we can talk so can about, explain it. Yep. you know, different types of um, dating because we're here and we're giving our opinion to people that are a part of our audience with different nationalities. We have a lot of people with different nationalities. And we just want to learn about their cultures too. I mean, they have different um, cultures and we want to learn about them as well. And um, thank you so much for everything that you do. I appreciate you being a spokesperson for us. Yeah. All right. So um, with that said, I think, um, I never do this, but I'll do it today. Our next topic, we're going to be talking about internet dating and we're going to talk about like can you really I fall in love it. with someone that you have not met <sighs> we're going to try to tackle that she one on the next too much catfish yes she catfish has. Off the hook. <laughs> i did watch it last night you and did? wow yes i Just did wow, you right. know what you got a good one last night though because that one actually was a success yeah it was i heard oh. that, that the other ones weren't so sex no. but when you hear the story like i was like wow i yeah. want to hear it because i think yeah. i missed that one so i got to catch up on that yeah. one. i caught the end okay. but Okay. I yeah. know what happened, but yeah. Yeah. I didn't wow. hear it. I'm just it trying to wow. figure out where these women and men heads are, and I don't think that you're going to um, hear many of those success, success stories. stories. Right. Um, but anyway, that's what we're going to try to tackle when we come back. Can't we appreciate um, our audience tuning in today. I know that you could have watched any other show on TV, so we appreciate your time, and we'll see you guys back next time. We'll see you. Thank you so much. Single ladies, single ladies, single ladies, single ladies, single